I had some sort of gaming fatigue some months ago, but now it's starting to go better. I am absolutely, totally still obsessed with Metaphor Refantatio. And let me address that. The comment section was like, oh my god, they sponsored everyone. But I mean, I don't say yes to every single sponsorship that comes my way in my email. Actually, I say yes to 10% of all the offers that are given to me. And Metaphor was a game that I was already very much looking forward to. So of course, that was a no-brainer for me. I mean, I would have made a video about that game regardless. <laughs> I don't take sponsorships unless I can stand for the game or the product. And yes, you can still trust my reviews, even though they are marked as sponsored. <laughs> because if a game is bad, I say no to the sponsorship. If a game is bad and I have some valid critique points to a game, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> Anyways, my gaming burnout. Let me start with this topic. Now, I'm sure a lot of you can relate, but oftentimes, and actually recently, the past one year, I feel like, for me especially, I feel like we are oversaturated with good games. More so now than, let's say, five years ago, and absolutely 10 years ago. Now I am feeling like I don't know what to play, and there's a new game out before I'm even done with a previous game that I was obsessed with. And I think it is only natural to, at some point, feel some sort of gaming burnout. Let's take this year in review. I was obsessed with Rise of the Ronin, one of the better games released this year. Uh, it's gonna be on my list of games of the year, definitely. Loved playing that, so good. Also, we had the re-release of Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, loved it, so good. And then we had Stellar Blade, loved it, so good. And I can leave my reviews down below for those games. They are fantastic games. They are among the best games that was released this year so far for me. But then, <laughs> then something happened. I got a review code of... <laughs> this is gonna sound so terrible. Okay, I got a review code of Visions of Mana, a game that I was looking forward to. Looks so pretty. I love JRPGs. I love games in this style, etc. But I don't know if it was me or the game or that I am changing somehow, but playing Visions of Mana it was like drinking a glass of water when you're not really that thirsty. If you know what I mean. I mean, a glass of water could be really good if you're really thirsty, but I wasn't, if you know what I mean. If you get the, no pun intended, the metaphor I'm trying to. <laughs> Anyways, the story in Visions of Mana did not hook me at all. It was such a shallow story, in my opinion, and I did not feel like paying attention to the story. I mean, I tried. The voice acting is good and all of that. Gameplay is sort of... it is good. But what I'm trying to say is that when you have been playing so many games and they are so similar to one another, I can get a feeling like I have played so many games like this before. And I don't know why it happened with Visions of Mana that I got this realization. It could have happened to any game. I mean, I'm not mocking Visions of Mana especially. It's just an example. But anyways, I was disappointed in Visions of Mana. It was like drinking a glass of water. I know a lot of people loved it, okay? Never mind me, never mind what I'm saying. I'm just reflecting on what happened in my situation. It didn't hook me, which was sort of disappointing because I expected it to be a game that I would be obsessed with, but I didn't get obsessed with that. Also, there was Astrobot, super good 3D platformer, but I didn't get hooked. But I know I will be playing it more in Christmas. Actually, I enjoyed Astrobot review code provided from PlayStation. I gotta say that. I enjoyed Astrobot more than Visions of Mana. Now, Christmas is coming up and, I mean for me, I get a Christmas feeling already now, straight after Halloween. I will be playing Astrobot more and I know some people has already gotten the platinum trophy in that one. So anyways, the games that made me go, oh my god, I'm tired of gaming right now and I need a break. It was Visions of Mana and Astrobot, sort of. And taking a break is exactly what I did. I started a new hobby, which I briefly mentioned in another video on my channel. I started reading books and I prefer non-fiction books 
by the way. And you can also follow my book reviews on Goodreads. Link to that down below. I'm called Isha Reading, if you're interested in that stuff. But I think having some sort of alternate hobby will only strengthen my main hobby, which is what it did. I mean, it's just how life is, I suppose. So reading books for a couple of months and then metaphor came, I was like, yeah, now I'm back again. Very good. I just thought I would share my experience about that with you guys because maybe it is actually relatable. And also I think having some sort of dopamine detox would be good sometimes. We are constantly overstimulated. Doing nothing for some time is actually also good, I think. But now I am getting off track. Now, this is essentially a played lately video and I have a few games that I want to talk about. Metaphor, still loving it. Still stand by everything I said in my previous video about Metaphor. I think it is maybe my game of the year. Uh, maybe. Now, I have a first impression already on East 10 Nordics and I'm so happy that they are going the Nordic way this time around. They sent over to me this collector's limited edition and I never know the difference between collector and limited edition but it's a good edition at least. The good edition of East 10 Nordics. I have now gotten a bit into the game and I am loving it, everything so far. I mean with every JRPG game it is some sort of build up in the start of the story to get the hang of the things and faces and characters and then it really kicks off you know the story I mean now East 10 Nordics it plays pretty much like East 8 and 9 you're not gonna feel unfamiliar going into this game if you have played the previous ones and I loved East 8 so here it is, actual physical edition. And we have the original mini soundtrack looking really good, really good. And we have this Book of Har, which is the little art book that comes with this edition. It's a, such a nice edition. And if you want this game for Christmas, this would be such a perfect Christmas gift for yourself or someone else. And we have a little pin and we have some cards really glossy cards actually. I am happy with East Nordic so far. Okay, so it's an action hack and slash sort of adventure game. You're going on this adventure as you do with Adol and he is meeting up with this Viking girl called Karja and also you meet a lot of other people. Now the story already has a lot of twists and turns which is gonna make you feel immersed into this world. Also you have some naval combat and also I am enjoying that you're linking up with Karja and doing a lot of special super fun attacks. It's all that ease goodness that you know from ease 8 or 9. I didn't play 9 much but I loved 8. <laughs> it's all of that and so far I am having so much fun with the game. Thought I would mention that everyone. Uh, check this game out. This game is definitely not a glass of water. <laughs> now basically I am playing metaphor and ease. Also, I restarted Lulua because Christy Michelle talked me into it. Now, I also have some cool controllers sent over from Razer. I thought I would unbox these on camera for you guys and have like a short first impression. They look so good. So this is the Wolverine V2 Pro. Uh, it's, I love it already. I mean, you know this. I think I have every single Razer controller there is. I've been a, such a fan of the Razer controllers. This one feels perfect. Oh my god, it feels so premium, so high-end, so heavy. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm already loving it. I love controllers, okay, that is such a treat. Also the little dongle. Also you can change out the little analog sticks. Also comes with a cord, the best cords ever. Razer makes the best cords. And then we have the Wolverine V3 Pro. That's a mouthful. Blah, 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 blah. I am such a racer fan. Christmas came early this year. So we have the cord, comes with the case. Oh my God. Oh my God. This one feels even better. Wow, that feels good. That feels so good. I can't wait to play ease on this. This one was amazing quality. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for sending these over Nordic Game Supply. And thank you, Racer. This one felt so good. This one is my favorite now. This one was also so good. But the V3 Pro, that was super pro. So happy. 
So that was all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I wanna let you guys know that I appreciate all of the comments and all of the likes and all of the views and you guys over at Discord. Whenever I am wondering about something, I'm asking on my Discord and there's always someone there to help me out with whatever. And they are there for you as well. Join the Discord now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.